Hey guys, welcome back. I am here today to share with you my weekly wax empties. These are things that I have worked on from July 2nd through the 8th. Yes. Um, so we were on vacation. We got back Friday. So I don't have a ton of things, but a good amount. Um, I have some things that are not empty so we'll talk about those first so worked on this brick right here from Scentsy and Marshmallow Mint Cocoa these are like five and a half times the size of a regular so that's a regular um, bar and this is a brick and Marshmallow Mint Cocoa is exactly that it is a fluffy minty um, hot cocoa I know not very seasonal for July but my youngest really does like this, and he had asked um, a couple times for that to be warmed in his um, bedroom. So, there's that. What else? Oh, a peeling apple from Scentsy, which is Scent of the Month for July? I think it's for this month. Oh, goodness. Um, anyway, I'm pretty sure this is still available. I will double check. Peeling Apple. This is def it's definitely different than Johnny Appleseed. Um, I think I like Johnny Appleseed better. <laughs> but I am really enjoying this. And because this is transition month for Scentsy, um, everything that's like not licensed is 10% off. So the bars are $5.40. This is still available. Um, and a peeling apple is described as sugary sweetness of juicy apples and lively pear are even more tempting with a touch of flowering sweet pea. So it does have that floral note in here, but it really honestly doesn't come out when you're warming it to me. It just, it's just a very sweet apple, like a year round apple. But I mean, then again, I melt Johnny Appleseed year round. So if you are a fan of Johnny Appleseed, and apple scents in general. I definitely say pick this up and give it a try. It is really good. And that is Peeling Apple. Um, what else do we have? We have Make a Splash, which is also still available until the end of July. Um, the new scents are available for purchase August 1st. So that's exciting. I have the catalog. I have the new scents. Um, I will be doing a video on that. I just am trying to catch up since being home. I had a bunch of um, things waiting for me when we got back. So I'm just trying to basically catch up. So Make a Splash is, um, again, another fruity. It's dewy melon and fresh green apples. Dive into refreshing turquoise waters. So you definitely get that melon on cold. It's not super strong of melon when warming it, but I would say if you are not a fan of melon, you probably would not enjoy um, enjoy this scent. I do really like this. I find it very, it's like crisp and refreshing and perfect in the heat. Okay, <clears throat> that's it for scentsy things that I haven't finished. I'm going to move on to vendor wax that I worked on but didn't complete. Um, worked on this bad guy right here. This is Raspberry Whip White Elephant Exchange um, in this loaf. And I love her Raspberry Whip on its own. I had gotten, I don't know if it was a souffle cup, a bitty betty, so I had something and it was divine. It smells a little bit different over here mixed with this um, White Elephant Exchange, which I totally get because the White Elephant Exchange is like powdered donuts and it gives it a bakery. Still really, really love this. Um, it's just not as, there was something about that whipped raspberry. It's still, I mean, it is still really good, but I would love the raspberry whip again, all on its own. So that is this. Really, really good. Enjoying that. Trying to pay attention to getting through some bigger, you know, loaves and bricks and things like that. 
Another one from L3 is Boardwalk Mallow Clouds and Applewood Fern. This is amazing. <clears throat> Excuse me. You get, obviously, the Boardwalk Mallow Clouds. But this apple, Applewood Fern, it has like a smokiness to it, to the apple. Oh, it's so good. So good. And I was going to hang on to it and wait until the fall, but I'm sorry, I can't. My allergies since we've been back have been horrible. Um, but this really, really good again. If you love apple scents and that smokiness, of course, to me, Boardwalk Mallow Clouds kind of makes everything creamier and dreamier and yummy. So there's that. Um, warmed through some Beach Please from Rose Girls. And this is Airy Fresh Clean Blend of Beach Linen and Ocean Breeze. Yeah, this is so good. This is fantastic. I started melting this just in my bedroom. And it's such an amazing, clean, beachy, summery scent. It's not suntan lotion or anything like that. Um, but I have warmed it throughout the house. And it's really good. Probably on strength about, I'd say about a 7. And it lasted a good, um, like, 10 to 14 hours. So that was a good one. We'll continue to warm that. A favorite coffee scent of mine from Rose Girls is Absolute Coffee, and that's exactly what this is. It's just coffee. It doesn't have, um, it's not flavored. There's no vanilla or hazelnut or anything like that. This is just a straight up strong cup of coffee, and I do really, really like this. I have loved her Absolute Coffee for years and will continue to purchase it. I have been having a hard time with coffee scents. Just everything smells burnt to me. That This does not. Um, and I had that going in my open concept. And I don't get that from it. Um, so fingers crossed that that continues. Because I do really enjoy it. From Ava's Country Cupboard. I mixed cucumber and aloe with her watermelon lemonade. I love these. From Ava's. Really, really great. I know I have some more. I may not have more of her watermelon lemonade, but I definitely have more of her cucumber and aloe. Just, guys, I mean, when it's hot, I tend to not want anything super heavy warming in my house. This is just a great, fresh, fruity scent. Really, really enjoy that. Warmed from Kay's, her freshly zested lemon. Oh, I love this. This is in her um, Kay's Cuts. So this was a pretty substantial bag of it and I'm down to this. I really love this. Whenever I'm craving lemon, this is what I reach for. This is a true, authentic, mm, freshly zested lemon. There is no bakery. It doesn't smell like cleaner. It is just that lemon. Um, it's also fantastic for um, if you have cooked something heavy and you need to rid your kitchen of those odors. Pop some of this in. It will be gone and you'll be smelling just lemon deliciousness. What else? Is that it for? Yes. Everything else that I have is empty. So here we go with those. Okay. The first thing that I finished is from um, Super Tarts. And this is Middle Earth. This was in like a BAM bag. It's dirt, rosemary, and fresh mint leaf. I've loved this one for years. Yes, oh, you really get that like fresh turned over soil. Um, but I can finally honestly say, <laughs> I think I'm done. I'm over this. I was happy to finish this up. I've had this for years, you guys, because it's not, um, like if you see what's in it, it's not, they're not like typical everyday scents I want in my house. I mean, I know people think it's weird. Like, why would you want your house to smell like dirt? But that rosemary comes in. And it is just like a, to me, it's like a very calming, relaxing scent. But I get why this is not for everybody. I really love this. But again, like I said, I like those dirt, earthy notes. But I think for the time being, I, I'm going to take a break from them. I don't need, I don't need them anymore. Um, two from Sensi. That's all I finished. I didn't take any Sensi with us on vacation. Um, so I didn't go through as much, but I did finish Summer Holiday, which I absolutely love. 
and let me double check. I'm pretty sure that you can still get this until the end of July. I don't think it made it into, I didn't bring the new catalog up, but we'll discuss that in a different, um, in a different video. Yes, it is still available. Oh, I just, I love this. I love, love, love this. This is in my club, I hope. I know I have backups of it, and I think I put it in. If not, I have, you know, till the end of the month to get it into my club. But my club doesn't come again until September. So this says, steal away to a sunny aisle, bursting with lush plumeria, tiger lily, and sweet orange, softened by vanilla and radiant amber. Ugh, I just, this is a hard one to describe, but... It is kind of in that same vein as um, the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. You definitely get some notes that are very similar. So this is light. This is not going to kick you out of your house or anything. It is a lighter scent, but it's beautiful for company, for just having something like soft in the background. And it's great. Um, it's a great bedroom melt as well. Really, really love that. Fiji Flower. This is fantastic. I have this in the um, the flower, and it's not strong to me at all. Um, but in the wax, ooh, I love it. I really, really love this. This is pink, pink plumeria, pear blossom, and apple. Oh, that pink plumeria is just sweet and happy and then you mix in the pear and the apple in here it's just a really pretty fun like flirty fruity scent really really like that one as well and that is long lasting um yeah pretty long lasting there okay now i think the all that i have left for empties are from vendors so let's just talk about those from L3, we have Freya, and this was in her, oh my gosh, why do I always forget what they're called? The two small um, scallop tarts, we'll say. So Freya is watermelon and cucumber water. This was okay. Um, like I said, I just don't, I don't know. It, I cut each scalloped tart in half. So I had this going in four warmers. I guess, you know, with cucumber water and watermelon, I, you don't expect it to be a powerhouse. So this was pretty light. I think I was just expecting a little bit more from it. I did enjoy it. They are scents that I like. I do enjoy cucumber in wax, and I do enjoy watermelon, as you know, with past melts that I did also. Um, so this was fine. It would not be a repurchase for me. Glad to have tried it. This was in, um, like, her pre-order from a while back. Warmed through some Rose Girls um, Cranberry Marmalade and Opposite of Keto. This is yummy. More of a fall scent. It's kind of heavy. But uh, I love Cranberry Marmalade. And this a cranberry in here almost has like an earthy note to it. It's not like a candied cranberry. It's hearty. It's, I don't really know how to describe it. And I love marmalade. Um, oh, this was so good. I wish I had more of it. And opposite of keto is sugar cookie dough, monster cookie, um, royal sugar cookies, waffle cone, pretzels. And like a heavy cream or a sweet cream um, is in there. Oh, but that, <clears throat> the cranberry marmalade was so there. It was like 80%. And then the opposite of keto is in there, which is perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. I loved this so much. And um, I've had it for a while. So, and I only had a few pieces. So it was good to finish, finish it up. Um, from the bathing garden, a sample in blackberry fudge, and this I'm not really remembering very much. It wasn't chocolatey to me. No, but it was like it was more like a candy with blackberry. I, it, this was not my favorite. From Elfrey, a sample in Island Fresh Gain, 
bonsai rice flour rice flour shy. So bonsai is typically super duper 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 strong. But this was mixed so beautifully with that Island Fresh Game. It just gave such a beautiful um, laundry scent. And I really did, really enjoyed that. Wish I had some more of it. I melted this in my half bathroom and it was in there for a couple days. That was really good. Um, pink Sugar from Up the Creek Scents. And that's what this was. And I can't remember if I've warmed this with anything. But if you like Pink Sugar... You would love her pink sugar. This was yummy. And I enjoyed it. I'm thinking I just maybe melted this on its own, like in my bedroom. I can't remember. From K, we went through some strawberry crown cake. Oh, it's so yummy. Sweet, sweet, delicious strawberry. You really get that cake, that pound cake note, that heavy, dense, like, it's not buttery, though. I don't get, like, a butter note, which is good because I don't totally enjoy that. But this was amazing. Oh, I love this. I warmed this when I had the um, uh, Bath & Body Works strawberry pound cake candle going. And this was fantastic with it. Spot on dupe. Um, cut these each in half. Had them going throughout the living space downstairs. And it was amazing. From the pharmacist's daughter, this is Love Struck, which is pink petal tea cakes, fruity pebbles, tea and cakes, and sugar cookie dough. So this was a cupcake that I cut into five, five pieces. And on cold, you really got um, the tea and cakes, which for some, I liked this tea and cakes. Usually I haven't been a fan of tea and cakes in years. This smells so good um, on cold. When I warmed this, you guys, I couldn't smell it. And I do not know, and I've said this before, I love how her stuff, their, their stuff smells on cold. It just does, it does nothing in my house. I've tried it when the air conditioning's been off. Um, I've warmed it in everything except for tea light warmers, just because I don't have them out currently. And, um... I want to use the warmers that I have. I don't want to have to take out certain warmers just to melt a vendor's wax. Um, but I've done this in element warmers, bulb warmers, hot, like everything. And I just don't get a throw from it. And this was poured in January. So this may just be a vendor that just does not work in my home. Um, which I know that that happens. Everything can't be, can't be a winner. So... There is that. Um, oh, goodness. I don't even remember what this is. A sample from um, L3 Waxy Wonders, What Dreams May Come. And I don't remember. I don't remember. Is this like a... It's smelling bakery, but it could be because it was next to something. I don't remember, you guys, but warmed that. This probably went on vacation with us. Because, yes, I do take wax and warmer um so strawberry blueberry lucky charms delicious smells exactly like this exactly like what it says um i got more blueberry and then mixed with the cereal of the lucky charms than i did the strawberry it was delicious all of these scents the things that i have coming up <coughs> excuse me were warmed while we were away and i brought a yankee centerpiece warmer to have in our hotel I could smell these like in the hall all of these before I got to the hotel door I just left the warmers on when we went out during the day oh so good filled up the whole hotel room delicious blackberry jam again sweet delicious blackberry oh so good so so good Cupcakes at Tiffany's, which I was a little scared of because I know Cupcakes at Tiffany's has chocolate in it. Not the biggest fan. But this was just bakery deliciousness. Really, really enjoyed this. Probably wouldn't get it again just because, like I said, I'm not a fan of chocolate. But to have a small thing of it and be able to try it, it really was good. Um, blackberry watermelon fizzy pop. Amazing. Fruity explosion. 
so good. I may have mixed this one. Um, nope, maybe I didn't. This was delicious. And you really get that like effervescence in this. That's so weird to me that you can actually like smell, like I say smell bubbles, but you do. Um, this was really good. Heavier on the blackberry than the watermelon. Really enjoyed this. The kids liked that one too. Strawberry, sugar, sponge, sugar, and whipped cream. This I did mix because it was a smaller sample. I mixed it with the strawberry pound cake. <sighs> Amazing. So good. Mm. Yes, delicious. Really good with those, no complaints. And the last one was Sugar Cookie Royale from L3. These were just easy to throw into a bag and take with us. Mm, yummy. Just bakery, sugar cookie, bakeriness. Really, really good there as well. So, didn't do too badly for having been away. Uh, happy to have been home. I always like coming home. And, of course, we bored um, Willow. So, definitely missed her. I don't think she really missed us. She has so much fun when she goes to the place that we board her at. Um, but I definitely missed her. I was happy to get home and now just trying to catch up on laundry and, um, videos that I have because I did get a bunch of, um, Scentsy stuff. So I don't know how many videos I'll post today, but there will be some coming. So I hope everybody is doing well, um, that you're enjoying your weekend, that you're off to a great start for this upcoming week, and I will see you guys in my next one. Take care. I will leave my Sensi information linked below. No pressure, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.